At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ship which he had made, and he sent out a raven. He went back and forth until the waters were dried up from the earth. He himself sent out a dove to see if the waters were abated from the surface of the ground. But the dove found no place to rest her foot. Mm. Now for a quick opening prayer to bless this time. Lord, bless our time here today. Lord, you are a good God and you love us. As we come before you, we forgive those who have wronged us and ask for your forgiveness. Lord, you want to be near to us. Come near to everybody listening and open their hearts to the upcoming prayer for hope. Wherever they are, I pray that they can stay through the prayer and the guided meditation where you will meet with them in the quiet place of their souls. I pray the blood of Jesus over the heart, mind, and soul of everybody listening right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, welcome to 23 Streams. And thank you for spending time here today. Our prayer is to be a resource to help you connect and have a personal relationship with God. And we believe you build this connection by being still in the presence of God and listening, by making intimacy with God the priority. Stay with this whole session as we do a prayer and a guided meditation, and at the end, a closing prayer. We have resources to help you connect with God throughout the whole day. This channel is for growing in intimacy with God through meditation with the Holy Spirit. We also have our 23 streams through the Bible in a year. It's only on the weekdays, so it's only five days a week. This is both a YouTube channel and a podcast for those that want to listen while on the move. Now, the advantage of this is that I tried many plans before and I always end up feeling like I fall behind or something. And then it's hard to catch up and different things like guilt and shame start making their way in there. So with five days a week, you can focus five days a week. You know what? You can either catch up on the weekend or you can choose not to. Maybe we should use the weekend for Sabbathing, spending time with our family and our community. Also, we have for those that have trouble sleeping or just want to get the word of God through the whole night. We have a whole separate channel that sleep with God's word meditations. When you're done with this session, check out the other resources on YouTube or our website. Now, a key thing that we found is that gratitude helps so many things. A daily gratitude practice is a great way to connect with God. And it also has many proven health benefits like helping with sleep and helping with stress and probably giving hope. The daily prompts and Bible verses in our six month daily gratitude journals are a great way to start or end your day and focus on being grateful to God. The link to get the journals is in the description. In today's meditation, we'll do Lectio Divina. In Lectio Divina, we go over the same verse three times with space in between for you to connect with and hear God. We'll have a one minute pause in between verses. Just follow the prompts before the verses are read. If anything in the video stands out to you, please hit the like button. It helps us a lot and it helps us be found by others that may need this. Let's start our prayer with a deep breath and then we'll move into the meditation. Remember the point of the meditation is to listen to God for the hope that you've come to this video for. Lord, today we come to you for hope. Hope for things that you want and also hope for things that we want. Lord, align our goals. Lord, fill us with faith. Lord, come alongside us in our worry, our anxiety, and our hopelessness. Lord, help us with these things. Give us a glimpse of the work that you are doing and our place in it. Please make it clear to us where you want us to go. We have hope in you, and we want to be all about your work, Lord. Please show us how we can be in it. For those that are dry bones right now, I pray life over them. I pray for the desert that you have been going through 
gets a fresh spring rain and that you see an oasis that you had not known about before. You're able to go to the oasis and refresh and rejuvenate. I pray for you to find rest and rejuvenation. Lord, give a new perspective on the work that you are doing in and around them and send your streams of living water through their souls. Invigorate them to your beautiful world. For those that are stuck, do not know where to go, I pray that they go to you, Lord, that you will guide them if they spend time with you. You will bring clarity to the situations that they are in. Lord, let them go into a quiet place and show you their hearts. No role playing. In their honesty, let them shift their focus from themselves to you, God. Let them feel your grace. Lord, during our meditation, speak to each and every one of us. Speak to us of your goodness and your love. Root down in us an everlasting gratitude and thankfulness for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let today be a day that those listening will be part of bringing heaven on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. As I read the scriptures the first time, just listen and feel the word of God over you. If your mind wanders in the quiet time, just calmly pray, Holy Spirit, come to realign yourselves. Genesis 8, 6 through 12. At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ship which he had made, and he sent out a raven. It went back and forth until the waters were dried up from the earth. He himself sent out a dove to see if the waters were abated from the surface of the ground. But the dove found no place to rest her foot, and she returned into the ship to him, for the waters were on the surface of the whole earth. He put out his hand and took her, and brought her to him into the ship. He waited yet another seven days, and again he sent the dove out of the ship. The dove came back to him at evening, and behold, in her mouth was a freshly plucked olive leaf. So no one knew that the waters were abated from the earth. He waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, and she didn't return to him anymore. As I read the scriptures the second time, bring awareness and mindfulness to anything the Lord is highlighting and offer them to God. At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ship which he had made, and he sent out a raven. It went back and forth until the waters were dried up from the earth. He himself sent out a dove to see if the waters were abated from the surface of the ground. But the dove found no place to rest her foot, and she returned into the ship to him, for the waters were on the surface of the whole earth. He put out his hand and took her, and brought her to him into the ship. He waited yet another seven days, and again he sent the dove out of the ship. The dove came back to him at evening, and behold, in her mouth was a freshly plucked olive leaf. 
so no one knew that the waters were abated from the earth. He waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, and she didn't return to him anymore. As I read the scriptures the third and last time, ask God about the highlighted things and if he is calling you to anything. At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ship which he had made and he sent out a raven. It went back and forth until the waters were dried up from the earth. He himself sent out a dove to see if the waters were abated from the surface of the ground. But the dove found no place to rest her foot, and she returned into the ship to him, for the waters were on the surface of the whole earth. He put out his hand and took her, and brought her to him into the ship. He waited yet another seven days, and again he sent the dove out of the ship. The dove came back to him, at evening, and behold, in her mouth was a freshly plucked olive leaf. So no one knew that the waters were abated from the earth. He waited yet another seven days, and sent out the dove, and she didn't return to him anymore. Thank you for being here. If this helped in any way, please like the video as it helps us get found by more people. Lord, thank you for your goodness and grace. Thank you for what you've highlighted to us today. Help me to rest in the truth of your words and through your grace and love, bring hope to all of those listening. In Jesus' name, amen. If you're looking for more Christian mindfulness, click over to see our full channel playlists, or other channels like the Weekday Bible in a Year and Sleep with God's Word Meditation. God bless you. Have a great day.